I would say that here in countries like UK, for example, or the, the Nordic countries, or Scandinavian countries, or, or in Germany, many of these countries have strict rules for the use of antibiotics. So, obviously, you cannot use, you will reduce the use of antibiotics to the prevention of the disease through vaccination because you can control the disease through vaccination, no need of more antibiotics. But in those countries, the most important part is when animals are dying of APP, you obviously you have to use antibiotics also, uh, expensive for the veterinarian, a reduction of uh, production, and all those items are reduced by the use of a vaccine. So immediately the use of a vaccine will have a consequence of the reduced use of a therapeutical uh, antibiotics. There is no real no studies indicating that um, exactly how is affecting economically the infection, the disease is affecting economically the herd. But again, you have to think that when you have clinical cases, let's say in acute disease, you have mortality, you have the use of antibiotics, you, you have uh, the use of the veterinarian, but also in chronic infection, you have a lot of lesions at the slaughterhouse where you have condemnation of, of the carcasses of, of the animals. So the, the impact of the disease in the farm usually is huge. In addition, acute infection goes very fast. So you can have a few animals dying now and in a few hours, a lot of other animals also dying. So the impact is quite important. Some people are using vaccination of um, sows, trying to reduce the, um, the, the pressure of the prevalence in, in pigs. Um, I would say that it, this approach can be taken usually after you have implemented a good vaccination protocol in pigs. This protocol is working and then you say, OK, to reduce expenses, I will try to vaccinate sows, which is usually cheaper and try, trying to improve the level of antibodies in pigs to reduce the prevalence. Two things, the vaccinations in sow should be done with the vaccine containing a bacterium, which should be the same serotype causing the disease. Why? Because these antibodies against the, the body of the bacteria, these maternal antibodies, once in the piglet, will reduce colonization of the piglet. So when the piglets are winning, they will have less amount of bacteria because they have the antibodies against the body of the bacteria. If you use a vaccine which is only made by toxins in cells, these antibodies, which are the toxins are secreted, these antibodies against those toxins will not have any effect on the piglet colonization. So you vaccinate cells with a bacterium, antibodies against the bacteria will be absorbed by the piglets and the piglets will reduce colonization and after three weeks when they are weaned, this piglet will have, in theory, less amount of bacteria and it will reduce the pressure of infection. You give the first dose, then you have the second dose. The idea is to give the second dose is to boost the reaction to the vaccine. Usually, it is recommended to have three weeks of interval between the two doses. If for management um, problems you have no choice but to give after two or either after two or after four weeks uh, after the first dose, it should not have a big influence. I mean, if you can adapt that to three weeks, that is probably ideal. If you have no choice between two and four weeks, it will not have a big impact. I mean, vaccination of animals during uh, an acute infection is, is not very usual. And in fact, the only, um, since you are treating animals during an acute infection, sometimes the um, treatment of strong antibiotics of this animal will eliminate bacteria, but will eliminate bacteria so well that animals surviving animals will not develop an immunity. And so you can have problems of three weeks, two, three weeks later, have other cases, other animals suffering infection. With vaccination, at the moment of clinical infection, 
animals that are not ill will develop immunity so you can prevent this uh, relapse well, of, 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 the, of the infection two three weeks uh, later. However, it's not necessarily a good approach because you do not need to move animals to vaccination during an acute infection. You should not do that. Usually you should use a vaccine that will give enough protection that you don't need to do that during, the, during an acute infection.